Hi and uh, welcome to the sewing studio. I'm Anna and I am passionate about sewing machines. So I'm thrilled to be presenting you the winners in our best all round sewing machine category. What makes them all round I hear you ask? Well, they need to have a good strong motor to give them the ability to sew through thicker fabrics and layers, but also be delicate enough to handle the finer types of fabrics. They need to have a good range of stitches, handy features and some feet and accessories to go with them to make the best of every job we want to make. Our top three have all these features and more, so let's find out what they are. In third place, the Brother Innovis A80. In second place, the Benina 770 QE Plus. And in first place, the Janome 6700P. When considering these machines, we also look at price point. So we will always have a low, medium and a high option. You may naturally assume that it's always the highest price point that is the winner, but that's not always the case and certainly not in the all round category. Our low price point is the Brother machine, our high price point is the Benina machine and the medium price point is the Janome. It's about having the best machine for you. So let's take a look at each one in more detail. Our third place machine, the Brother Innovis A80, is around six and a half kilos and it has a top speed of 860 stitches per minute. It's got 80 different stitches and there's eight different buttonhole options in there and those are really easily selected with this dial here. You've got a maximum stitch width of seven millimetres which you can alter with these buttons up here and you can change the stitch length. It's got a few features with this machine. You have a needle up, needle down, a locking stitch, your reverse, and a start stop button and speed control. It does also come with a foot pedal. It has a built in easy action needle threader. Your bobbin loads from the top. You can drop the feed dogs and the storage comes off to give you your free arm. It also comes with a range of feet and accessories. Starting with the standard presser foot, one for zips and piping, for blind hems, for overcasting, an open toe foot, for sewing on buttons, and for sewing a buttonhole. It also comes with a range of accessories. Now I'll get the machine plugged in so that you can see and hear it in action and the quality of the stitches. I've threaded the machine and I'm just going to sew a straight stitch on this piece of cotton. Now I went to the top speed there so that you could see how fast it sews and that's the quality of the straight stitch is nice and neat. I'll switch it over to a zigzag which is number seven so I'm just turning this dial to number seven. And that's your nice neat zigzag. And just for fun, <laughs> I'll show you one of the decorative stitches. So I'm gonna choose number 60. Just scroll around. To number 60 and that's a nice little leaf pattern top and bottom being an all-round machine, it copes really well on different types of fabric, multiple techniques, as well as different types of projects. Our second place machine, the Benina 770 QE, is a little bit weightier at 14 kilos and it has a top speed of a thousand stitches per minute. It has 10 inches to the right of the needle, so lots of space. 
It has multiple stitch options, which are all neatly tucked away in folders behind the touch screen, but you've still got access to your most common features. So your stitch width and your stitch length dials, and there's a maximum of nine millimeter stitch width with this machine. You've got left and right needle position, pattern end and a pattern start, needle up, needle down, and a locking stitch. This machine also has some automatic features, which is an automatic presser foot, automatic scissor cut, and it also has automatic tension. You have a start stop button and speed control, but it does come with a foot pedal as well. It has a built-in needle threader and built-in jewel feed, which really helps with fabric control. It's a front loading bobbin, bottom loading bobbin, whichever terminology you use. And the bobbin is also 70% larger than a standard bobbin, so it runs out less often. You can drop the feed dogs and you have a nice small free arm here. It has an independent bobbin winder, so no need to unthread your needle to wind your bobbin. It also comes with a range of feet and accessories. You have the standard presser foot, a second version of the standard presser foot with the space in the back for the dual feed, one for zips and piping, an open toe foot, quarter inch piecing foot, one for sewing buttonholes, and the Benina stitch regulator. It has a range of different accessories, including a straight stitch needle plate. Now all these feet and accessories fit nicely inside the Benina wardrobe, and it also comes with a knee lift and an extension table. There's also an optional accessory of an embroidery unit. So the machine has all the embroidery technology in there. You would just buy the unit separately, plug it into the machine, and then it turns the machine into an embroidery machine. But we're gonna concentrate on sewing, so let's get it plugged in and you can see it in action. Okay, so I'm gonna run through exactly the same as I did with the brother. So I've threaded the machine and popped the extension table on, and I've got another piece of cotton and we'll just sew a standard straight stitch. As you can see, fast is extremely fast on this machine. And then that's the quality stitch that it produces. So I'll switch it over to a zigzag, which is just simply pressing that button. And that's the zigzag. And then to find a decorative stitch, I'm gonna go into the decorative stitch folder and find the same pattern. And that's the nice leaf design. Again, it's an all round machine, so it gives outstanding results on different types of fabric. Multiple techniques. As well as different types of projects. Our first place machine, the Genomi 6700P, is 11 kilos in weight and has a top speed of 1200 stitches per minute, so it's the fastest out of the three. It's got 10 inches of space to the right of the needle and has lots of different stitch options. You can change the length and the width of those stitches with the dials here. Now, just like the Benina, you have the option to change the direction of some of those stitches with the mirror stitch, elongate the stitches and save them to memory. You can also sew with a twin needle, but with this machine, those are easily accessed with the touch of a button. It has an automatic thread cutter, your needle up, needle down, and your locking stitch. 
your reverse is right here and your start stop button with speed control. Again, it does come with a foot pedal. It has a top loading bobbin and you can drop the feed dogs. Now looking at the stitch plate, I've just remembered, I forgot to say that it has a nine millimeter stitch width on this machine. It's got a built-in needle threader and it does have the dual feed functionality, but it's a separate foot, it's not built in, which does make life slightly easier as when it's not in use, it, it doesn't get in the way. It has an independent bobbin winder, so again, no need to unthread your needle and it has really big spool pins so you can fit the extra large cones on there. It comes with a large range of different presser feet and accessories. You have your standard presser foot, one for zips and piping, a blind hem, overcasting, a rolled hem, a clear foot and an open toe version of that clear foot, quarter inch piecing foot, one for sewing on buttons, a buttonhole foot and stabilising plate, a darning foot, a free motion convertible set. Now this has different soles that interchange on the bottom. So you've got a closed toe one on there, there's an open toe version, and then one for echo quilting or thread painting, and the dual feed foot. It also comes with a range of different accessories, including a straight stitch needle plate and a third option, which is called an HP plate. And it has this specific narrow foot that you use with it. What it does is it gives you the ability to sew from the very edge of the fabric. And also if you're doing patchwork piecing, if you line the edge of your fabric up with the foot, then it's giving you a scant quarter inch. It also makes light work of high speed sewing. So let's see the machine in action. We'll run the same tests on the Janome machine. So I've got another piece of cotton and I'll just do a straight stitch. Now I went up to top speed there so that you could see what the full 1200 stitches a minute looks like. And as you can see, even at top speed, it's done a really nice secure stitch. So we'll switch to a zigzag. And there's a beautiful, perfect zigzag. And let's find that same decorative stitch. And there's the nice leaf pattern again. It gives beautiful results on lots of different types of fabric. Multiple techniques. As well as different types of projects. I hope that gives you an insight into the capabilities of these machines. I'll do a quick recap for you. Our third place machine is the Brother. It's the lowest price point. It's great for beginners and those that are on a budget. It's a standard sized machine, so the throat space can be a bit small when you're working on those larger projects. However, it is lightweight and portable. Our second place machine is the Benina. It's the highest price point. It's a great machine with lots of automatic features. Ongoing costs can mount up in terms of servicing and additional accessories, but one additional option to consider is the embroidery module to turn your sewing machine into an embroidery machine. And our winner at the medium price point is the Janome machine. It's a great machine with beautiful stitch quality and great fabric control. It doesn't have a free arm, but it does come with a wide range of accessories, making it great value for money as well. 
Now, it's quite a lot to take in in this video, so if you want to have a look, on our website we have this great comparison feature where you can see any of the machines that we sell side by side and compare them directly. We also offer free delivery and in most cases that's next day. Don't forget, I'm Anna at the Sewing Studio, I'm here to help, so if you've got any questions, any queries, just pick up the phone, send me an email. Thanks ever so much for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.